Amy was telling me about one of her colleagues who is a, uh, an attorney and he's also a father, he has a few children, and he was telling her this story about how when he gets back home from work, he says that no matter how tired he is during the day or how tired he is when he makes that drive home, gets to his doorstep, he always stops and takes a deep breath and he says he has to put on a brave face no matter you know how difficult the day was, no matter how bad the clients were, before he walks into the door in order to greet his family and greet his children. And uh, when I first heard the story, I thought it was I thought it was really nice, but I didn't really think much of it. Um, and it's not until now that I'm a parent and I think more about it. Uh, I I think it's really important to do this. Um, I think about like I just take myself for example. I can when I go to work, I can, it's like more important to me for whatever reason to put on a brave face. And then when you get home. That's when you let yourself be tired and you let yourself be worn out and you just feel like you need to recuperate. Um, and I think that works when you are just dating or you're just married and you have no kids. But the moment that you have kids and they, they come into the picture, um, that's no longer an option in a lot of ways. I think that you owe your family, especially your kids who may not understand, right? Like that, I think that's what it is. Your kids don't understand the way you're partner would right your partner would also perhaps have worked a long day they know you a bit better they are more empathetic they understand different nuances in your personality and so they will uh, accommodate less than stellar behavior but with children who don't understand who uh, look to you for guidance and look up to you as a person it is your responsibility to always put on a brave face and to be optimistic and be cheerful and guide them through whatever they are going through, no matter how difficult your day was. And clearly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a new parent, um, so I don't know if this continues, like if this need to uh, put on a brave face should extend to when your kids are like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? Like at, at 30, they probably understand a bit more and they can be more empathetic if you are having a slightly off day. But um, but on the flip side, like, you know, your your kids are always your kids, right? Like you never stop being, you never stop being a parent. And so I guess I would probably venture a guess that you always should feel like you are um, putting your your brave face on for for your kids at all times. Um, yeah, and this has just been on my mind as I think about parenthood, as I think about how um, I think about my childhood. I think about the childhood that I want to have for my kids. Um, I, and I just think it's very funny how for. <laughs> For many of us, the default is to show our tired, uh, true side to our family um, and to the ones that we love the most, but it's for our colleagues or for people who are strangers where we'll put on, uh, we'll put our best version, we'll put the best version of us forward, right? We're, we're never more uh, gregarious or uh, egregious than it is with strangers, people we don't know because we want to make a good first impression. But I think it's important to, um, you have to be your best at home, right? You, you don't get to take a day off. You don't get to take a time out just because you're with your family. If, if anything, like you should be your best version with your family. Um, and that's something that I'm, I'm working on and it's something I'm trying to just reconcile with how I think about um, my, my growing up and, uh, yeah, just I, I thought it was interesting and wanted to get that down. So, um, yeah, I think you owe it to your family to put your your best version of yourself. Um, you owe it to your family to be the best version of yourself around them at all, all times. And um, you just, you know, you don't give yourself the option to be tired and to look exhausted and, and whatever, right? Be the best version in front of your family. Be the best version of yourself in front of, in front of strangers, in front of colleagues.